Hi, my name is Tyler Huff. I'm a product specialist here at SearchDex. And today I'm going to walk you through how easy it is to integrate our new offering, Serverless, with Drupal. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is click on Get Started here, which will take us to our pricing page where we can then click on Serverless. Uh, so let's go ahead and sign up for a free trial. I'm gonna enter in my information. Oops. My use case is website search in this case, and my platform is Drupal. All right, let's get started. Okay, I can now log in with the email address. Oops. Okay, now I'm in to the search tax cloud dashboard. Uh, in this dashboard, you have uh, two offerings you can utilize, serverless and dedicated. Serverless is what we will use today. Uh, it is just an index uh, that you can use, of course, a solar index. Uh, you don't have to worry about the infrastructure. Um, all of that is taken care of under the hood. Uh, you just have access to a solar index. Okay, so let's create one. I'm going to give it a name. Let's call it Drupal Demo. I'm on the US West Coast. So I'm gonna select the West Coast region. I'm gonna select this solar version. And I'm going to also select the starter plan build annually. I can scroll to the bottom here and click next. Now I'm going to upload a configuration file to my index. Uh, let's select one for Drupal. I can click load configuration right here. You'll see all of the files uh, that I have loaded up. Uh, they're just gonna go to the schema in my index. And I can click continue. So now the index has been created, it's provisioning. Uh, so once it's done provisioning, we'll click into it and get uh, details about that index. Uh, for now, let's take a look at the other tabs I have here. So I go back to my site. I have my local uh, Umami Food Magazine install. And what we're gonna do today is replace uh, the normal search or the default search which I just uh, recently removed with site search powered by uh, solar and serverless. So a few things we have to do here is first uh, install the search API uh, module. And I'm gonna do that using composer. So this is the command I need. I'm just gonna copy that, open up my terminal here, do ddev and paste. And now I'm installing. And you'll see here, I don't have anything to install because they actually are already installed. So I did that for search API to save time. I also did that for search API solar. So you do need the solar uh, extension uh, to support for search API to support solar. And lastly, you need the search tax search API module. This is also an extension of the search API module. Uh, and what this does is allow you to connect your serverless index to Drupal. Okay, so now that we know all those plugins are already installed uh, in an effort to save time, we can go back here to our index. We can refresh. 
So right now it's verifying. Uh, so shortly, uh, once it is once it's done verifying, we'll have access to uh, the index, to the endpoints, to the tokens, uh, all of that good stuff. Uh, and what we're going to do is go into our admin and our extend, and we're going to install the modules that I've um, recently downloaded. So if I filter by search, we see search API, search API search stacks, search API solar, and lastly, search API solar admin. So let's install all of those. <clears throat> okay, great. We got a successful uh, install. So let's go back to cloud here. We now see that the index is active. So I can click into it. We have the select endpoint. Uh, so this is used to query the index. We have the update endpoint. This is used to, as the name implies, update the index, uh, add data, um, that sort of thing. And uh, here are API examples of curl commands using the select endpoint and update endpoint. Uh, below that are tokens. Uh, so these are API tokens uh, you need to actually use your endpoints. And uh, you'll see we have a read write and a read only. So uh, what we're gonna do now is copy and paste the update endpoint and go back here to our Drupal website and I'm gonna configure search. So let's drop down in configuration, go to search and metadata, search API and add a new server. I'm gonna give the server a name, Drupal, demo. Uh, the back end is solar since we are leveraging solar. And the connector is search tax cloud with token authentication. So once I click that, we have a new uh, section that opens up where we have an endpoint. Uh, so we just copy and paste the update endpoint in your search tax app. So that's what I did previously. I paste it, we'll see we have it right here. There's the update. Here's our collection name, Drupal demo, ID, and the domain. So we are good to go there. Now I can go back to our serverless dashboard. If I scroll down, we can copy and paste the read and write token. So let's do that. So let's go back here to add a server. I can paste that token. Click save. And you'll see the server was successfully saved. Uh, we know it's using solar. Uh, it's using search tax cloud with token authentication, our URI, our solar core URI. And we can see here that solar server could be reached. Okay, great. So now we have to create an index. So let's do that right now. Add index, Drupal demo. I'm only going to index content for this particular uh, demo. I'm going to connect it to our Drupal demo server and I'm gonna click save and add fields. All right, let's add some fields that we're gonna use to uh, search on and populate the search results. So first I want the URL. Let's make it absolute URL. I want the, I want the body. I want the content type. I want the summary. I want the title. And that's it for now. I can always add more fields or remove fields from indexing. Let's see, we have URL, yeah. We have body, yes, we do. We have content type, we have summary, and we have title. So let's save those and let's re-index. 
Okay, all I have to do now is click index down. Easy enough. And done. We just indexed 38 items. If I were to go back to cloud here and query this select endpoint, just to return all the documents, we would see 38 documents in there. And instead of doing that in a curl command, what I'm going to do is create a view in Drupal to show you how easy it is to get a search page actually loaded up. So let's go to structure, views, add a view. I'm going to call it Drupal demo. Yeah, you guessed it. And I'm going to use the index Drupal demo. I'm going to create a page and save and edit. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is add a class to the format. I have a class pulled up right here on my other screen that I'm gonna paste, done. Now I'm showing the fields and what I'm gonna do is uh, delete this one and then add the fields that I chose to index. So let's click add here, let's find title. Title of the index field, add and apply. Let's find now the content, oops, content type. Index field, add and configure, apply. Let's also get the summary. Uh, I did not spell that correctly. Summary of the indexed field, click apply. And lastly, the URL. All right, apply. Now what we need to do is create a search box. So let's go to filter criteria. I'm gonna type in full text here. And all this does is give a search box. So I'm gonna make it so it contains any of these words. I'm going to expose the filter to visitors and that's it. Okay, let's click save and let's view the page. So here we go. Um, obviously there could be more styling work, but you know, within 10 minutes, we just created a search page that's uh, leveraging uh, search decks, serverless and solar behind the scenes. Thanks for watching.